Hi, this is Codjourno, and today we are going to be installing Windows 10 on my new MacBook Pro 2016 operating system Catalina. And this will work with the other recent system or computer from Mac. This is a page, I will leave the link. It's a Apple support guide. First of all, you will need, very importantly, the keyboard, we understand that. You will need a disk image of Windows 10 64-bit version. And this, we're going to install it and it's going to cost nothing. We're, we're going to take a free copy of Windows and uh, that's possible. So here on that, on this page, there's uh, this link. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to Microsoft. Don't be scared. It's not that bad. We say confirm. We're going to choose the language English. Perfect. We confirm. For the version, we're going to be using 64 bit download. Um, for a new MacBook, everything is going to be 64 bit, but you may check if you're not sure if your MacBook is a 64 or your Mac. But I think it should be, if it's a modern Mac, it's going to be 64. So that's where. I'm going to choose. Do you want to allow the download? Allow. Et voila. Now it's downloading. It's here. Come on, download. I think it's, it must be kind of big. I'm going to see how big it is. And uh, we're going back to what we need to do. We will need to, uh, before doing this, it's check for software update. Very important. So we're going to go into system preference. We're going to go into software update. An update is available for your Mac. So, oh, I have an update to do. Uh, I have a download. I'm just going to see if I click, if it's going to just download it. Update, uh, oh, you must, okay, not now. So I'm going to, uh, finish the download for the windows and then we're going to see us a little bit later now i'm back so the mac is up to date as you can see we will start i have the image now the computer is up to date now it's time to process and do the installation prepare your mac for window open your mac Open Bootcamp Assistant. It's located in Application Utility. That's what, what we're going to do. The system is check it for total disk space. You have to be sure to have enough disk space uh, to install Windows. I have a one terabyte SSD. So I'm, I'm going to be allocating about uh, maybe a hundred gigabyte or a bit more because I want to play a couple of games. So you must decide how much space you need. But I think... Uh, you should not go lower than maybe uh, 50 or something like that. Very important. Okay, we're going to go into application, utility. And let's look for bootcamp. Where is, ah, here's our assistant of bootcamp. Okay, bootcamp assistant, help initial, na, 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 na. it's going to be installed in an Intel based Mac. That's what I have. Uh, this is the brand new. Uh, so, oh, I made a mistake. This is not a two, uh, 2016 model, it's a 2019 model. It's the 16 inch. Very different. We have to locate the ISO image. So we're going to go and uh, I've downloaded it in my downloads. Uh -huh. I'm going to go in my download and you depend where you chose to, you just have to find it. There it is. I say open. Now it's selected here and you see on my hard drive, uh, I have all that space and by default they say 48 gigabytes uh, for window, but I want more. You just take this in the middle and you drag it to where you want it. Uh, ah, that's perfect for me, 110. Please select the bootcamp partition size. Once the partition is created, it cannot be adjusted. Decide uh, right now and uh, make your choice. 
<laughs> Windows support software will be installed after completing Windows installation. Let's do install. It's downloading Windows support. It, it's going to have, uh, it's going, it's downloading the Windows support software from Apple that your uh, Mac computer will work with Windows. The, the trackpad, the, the screen, the, the speaker, the little magic that Apple does with Bootcamp, say so you, you have two independent system. It's not like it's a virtual mode. So that's better and you have great performance. Uh, I've been using Bootcamp for a long time on many computers and on my other computer, my 2016 uh, MacBook Pro, uh, I had the same configuration uh, as I'm doing right now. But now it's even easier to do. I did not have to uh, do a bootable disk or something like that. And I even had it on my old iMac. I even installed it on Mac Mini. So it, it works on the, a lot of Macs, uh, modern Macs. And what it gives you is the ability to run. Uh, I, will, I will not pay for the Windows 10. It will be free. Trust me, I've done it before where we downloaded it, uh, uh, Microsoft will not be asking for money. It's downloading, it's going to be, maybe I'm going to be doing some editing so it's going to be quicker for you. Now it has, Windows has restarted. I was on the Mac, now we're in Windows. So it's a normal installation. You would have the same thing with a normal window computer. What's the language? Okay, uh, time and currency. Is there Canadian, French, Canada? Here you go. I have no choice here. Keyboard, Canadian multilingual standard. Okay, enter your language and other preference, that's okay. I'm gonna click next. You don't have a key and we're going, we're installing this for free. I don't have a product key. That's where you click. You select the one, the version of window you want. So we're going, I'm going to click window 10 pro. I think you should do the same. Sure, I agree. Next. What's going to do the installation? Okay, probably is going to, uh, I'm going to do a speed up here. But, uh, as you can see, it's in doing the installation. I'm going to let it run and do its thing. So now it's restarting. Complicating my life. Windows has restarted. Let's start with the region. Okay, I'm in Canada. You select your region. We're going to go with me for the Canadian multilingual standard. You choose the one you want. Want to add a secondary? Uh, I'm going to skip that. Let's connect to a network. Data plan, blah, blah, blah. Let's do next. Now we have some important setup to do. Okay, Windows, do your work. Do your thing.
must be restarting of something. How would you like to set up? Okay, set up as personal use or for an organization. This is going to be personal. Again, you decide for yourself. Uh, Microsoft account. Uh, I have one, but uh, we're going to go offline account, but you can enter yours here. Okay, sign in to enjoy the full range of Microsoft app. I don't think so. So I'm going to go clicking here, limited experience. Who's going to use this PC? That's me. Ah, let's do the password. So you must promise me that you will not look. I know, I know you will not. Confirm it. Oh, security question. Blah, I hate that. I'm not going to use this. Do more with your voice. I plan on just gaming with this laptop, but let me curse off and up use location. Okay. I'm going to give them th that. Oh. Find, yes, find my device. Send diagnostic. Ah, basic. Improve inking and typing. What the, what the beep? No, thank you. Oh God. This is annoying. Let app use advertising ID. Yes, no. Do more across device with electricity. No. Not now, Cortana. Hi. Hello. So now they're doing more installation. That might take several minutes. I'm sure it will. And we're going to follow their advice to don't turn off the computer like if we were morons or, thing or something like that. So uh, we will be patient because we don't have a choice. There's no choice in this. Patience is the only way. Oh, that was kind of fast. It's finished? Oh my God. It's ridiculous how fast it was. I think it's 14 minutes and already Windows is installed. That's very quick. Okay, that, so Cortana will open and I will say bye-bye Cortana. And you see this is very important. This bootcamp, uh, bootcamp app should be open. This is Apple saying hello. And you do not click cancel. You have to do this so everything will work fine with your computer. So you click next. And you accept the term. Say install. Okay, this program feature you're selected are being installed. So it's installing everything your computer will need to be working in Windows. So your trackpad, the sound, it's 
very important. Bootcamp installer completed. Bootcamp has been successfully installed on this computer. Click finish. Okay, that was that was quick. Let's do finish. It's going to restart. It's a very quick process. Mac OS takes more time to install than Windows. And what I remember is a window on a Mac run super smooth, very quick, because this is a powerful computer, the MacBook Pro 16-inch, 2019, oh, this is window, got to uh, put my password, Charles, that's me. So here we go. Now we are in window on a Mac. You have your browser, have the internet. I'm going to be installing Steam. Introducing the new Microsoft Edge. So this is not the new one. So this is a, a full working version of window and it's free. And if you go here, down here, click this little triangle. We're going to go look at Bootcamp. There it is. Uh, restart in Mac OS. So if you click here, you're going to restart in Mac OS. If you were wondering how I go back to Mac, please help me. Or we can go in the Bootcamp control panel. Yes. And here you can choose on what system it will restart on. So when it's going to be restarting, I want to be in Mac OS. I'm going to click apply, but you can choose uh, something different. But if you are in Mac or in Windows and you want to start up the computer back uh, on uh, Windows or on Mac, you hold the option key when you restart. When when you hold it, you will have, uh, I'm just going to show you, okay? So we are going to say OK and we're going to do restart. And just to be sure, I'm going to hold down the option key when it's going to be shutting down and you will see you will have the choice. OK, now I'm holding the option key. Ah, it did not work. So it started, oh no, there it is. Okay, so now you see, you have the choice, window or Macintosh. So I just choose Macintosh. Boom, voila. So it's starting back on Mac. So that was quite easy and free. So why not do it if you have the space so I'm going to be playing some native game on uh, Windows with this computer because this has the uh, 8 gigabyte of RAM for the video memory. So thank you for listening and see you later. Bye bye.